I'm going to start with a quote of uh, Martin Luther King, who famously led the march against the discrimination of the black African people from the whites in America. The founders of democracy gave us a promissory note of equality, and today we have come to the capital for encashing the check, and the check has come back bouncing for insufficiency of funds. Here, in the insufficiency of funds means equality. But this is not the case exactly with, with America alone. This is the same case with India too. People with disabilities, we don't even enjoy the fundamental rights in this country like you. You will, be, you will be really amazed. Am I giving you the correct facts or not? Article 15, 2 says every citizen of this country is equal despite the caste, creed, language, the place of birth, the place of origin, domicile, everything. But it doesn't have the word disability. So we have an interpretative jurisprudence for people with disabilities. In the sense, I can drag the, 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 the clause of equality for persons with disabilities and probably interpretable on it. I don't have a, a direct jurisprudence. So what's big deal in that? What's big deal in not having a direct exposing of, of, of fundamental rights? Fundamental rights is a legal right. Now imagine, let me put uh, a straightforward question to you. Aren't you people be able to watch television without having voice or volume, completely keeping off the volume? Probably 5 minutes, probably 10 minutes. Here people with disabilities, especially people with hearing impairment, they are having a life without sign language. Whatever goes in or whoever speaks in the, the mic, whoever makes a uh, discussion in the television, nothing is known to them. You don't have sign language at all. In fact, I, if I have to be very clear, if a person with disability, especially on hearing disability, if he wants to have a look at the TED talk in the internet, how many talks are transcripted in sign languages? Is it not a fundamental right? The highest punishment for somebody who has done a heinous crime, who has committed a heinous crime, would be to put him on, onto a solitary confinement. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a, a group of people, more than 10 lakh people, even in Tamil Nadu itself, who are in solitary confinement for years together. Is it not a violation of fundamental rights? If we have fundamental rights, we will be able to tap the doors of the Supreme Court even by 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. But here, we are compromised. People with disabilities, you and we are not, we are same. There is a huge issue with what we understand as disabled people and what is disability. Disability is not a deficit. Disability is part of diversity. If I have to explain you a little more better, you and I think that people with disabilities have some kind of an inability, and, but still we have to think them in equality. You are not completely convinced. The fact that you should understand disability and ability is equal spheres of the nature. It's part of, part of the nature. Like the way you have the black, the African, the, the, the white, the browns, the top hill, the light, the dark. Same as that. And now you will be able to understand the disabled people and the equal pedestrian. We unfortunately, this country they has taken disabled people for granted. For years together, if at all we had a chance to meet Baba Sahib Ambedkar, we would have certainly got this word disability included in the Indian constitution. Many states of this country does not allow a person with hearing impairment to stand for election. You can right royally get dismissed if you at all you want to stand for elections in Panchayat Raj. Which is unconstitutional. Which is, which, which is absolutely in, not natural according to the natural jurisprudence. Just because getting disqualified because of a disability, what's, what, a, what a nonsense is happening in this country. We had to fight on the roads to get it changed in India. Sorry, in Tamil Nadu, first of all. Articles, article 32 of the Tamil Nadu Panchayat Raj Act. More than 28 states in the country still maintains that particular section. My dear friends, in 2004, there was an, there was an interesting case which came to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court was hearing a case on what can we do with the extra collected money out of interest act from the nationalized financial institutions. And Justice Ravindran thought that it would be very apt if that money could be spent for the goodness of the disabled people, for the welfare of the disabled people, for the rights of the disabled people. He earmarked some hundreds of crores for the welfare of the disabled people. The moment, this very second, penny is not spent from that money. 
which is the Supreme Court, the highest authority in India. According to the Constitution, Article 141, they are the highest authority. Whatever the uh, Supreme Court pronounces, it becomes a law. But unfortunately, things have not come to us, my dear friends. If you want to see the Supreme Superstars movie on every first show, first day, for every release, think about a person with disability. Will he, can he have the access to that? For a hearing impaired person? I think you now have to think, disability is not something to only sympathetically or empathetically look at. It is a cognitive exercise that we have to undertake. There are so many issues that the people with disabilities are not able to take it across. I understand a famous quote of this country is pronounced, disabled people are only fit enough to go for special education. We are not for that alone. After 6 o'clock in the evening, nature doesn't gives you light. If at all, as a person with disability had in case not invented the filament. Thomas Elva Edison was a person with disability. If not, he had in, invented a in filament, we would not be in a position to work when America sleeps or probably we sleep and America wake. And that's, that's how the nature is. But we are not able to understand disabled people as part and parcel of this society. 1995, we had a beautiful act. In 1995, we said people with disabilities will have all things to their, to their play to. But what has come to us? We heard a gentleman speaking over here when he worked with the chief minister to make every place accessible for people with disabilities. But even this minute, this second, things have not come to our favor. We don't even have bathrooms, my dear friends. Leave alone stages, leave alone theatres. And in this case, we say that people with disabilities are not absolutely uh, you know, treated equally and we hail ourselves part of G20. In what way can we equate a country which has not even adequately built bathrooms for disabled people to be a completely developed nation, G20. We want to aspire to become a super, super power. No, we need to have an ethical power. We have to become an ethical superpower. That is something which is very important. People with disabilities have been undergoing a discrimination not in one just one field. It's happening to us every minute. The life is not that so sacrosanct for us. If at all I keep my crutches like this, I will be able to walk on a, flo uh, on, a, on, a, on a slippery floor. If I take a decision to keep a little broader, I will slip down and fall. We have... Sorry. My dear friends, if life is posing such difficulties to us, and I think the society is also equally responsible for inflicting pain into us. Scott Hamilton very clearly said, the only disability in life is bad attitude. The attitudinal change is what is required. United Nations Convention for the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, which is the first convention of the 21st century, very clearly says, when you have a long-term impairment, I have a physical impairment, I don't have a disability. The disability is flowing out because of the attitudinal barriers of the society. My dear friends, it has to be taken into our cognition. 2000 years before, when this Indian society was relinquishing or probably, uh, you know, reiterating the fact that disability is part of the karma, it was one Mr. Tiruvalluvar, the same point of this Tamil Nadu state, gave a wonderful clause which liberated the real thought of what attributes can be attributed for people with disabilities or the cause of disabilities. He said, disability is not just because of the cause of what you do as sins. Neither you, nor your parents, nor the friends. That is the first time in the history of the Indian literature, disability has not been attributed to karma. But unfortunately, we still carry that in our minds. Beno Zafai, India's first Indian Foreign Service officer, was a visually challenged person. When the UPR review was brought in the United Nations, there was one lady who was charging our nation tooth and nail. Our Indian Foreign Service officers were not able to take those questions in the United Nations Human Rights Com Commission. 
And the lady who was in charge of the Pakistan High Commission to level the charges against this country was a visually disabled lady. Changes are precipitated by people with disabilities. My friend, we have changed the scope of the history. It will have to be taken and borne the mind. What exactly is happening for things not happening in this country? Nobody listens to us. You have to listen to, uh, to the stakeholder. Make the right real is an international slogan which was made by the disabled people across the globe. The Incheon strategy which was unveiled in 2012 very clearly demarcated. Make the right real. You cannot have a right in the book and not implementing it right away. We have an imbibed system or chalta hai. We don't want to even give a damn regard for the Supreme Court order. 1995 we made a make a law. In 2013, the chief minister makes a statement in the assembly to make every place is disabled friendly. Give them a parking, give them bathrooms, give them a lift, give them a staircase with holdings. The chief minister says there is a law, there is a rule, there is a court ruling, but nothing comes to, her, to us. We are only left with empty hands. Why is this happening? What is the next stage? Where should we go? My dear friends, I think... We have been in the position of asking. Standing on the road and raising slogans is, doesn't attract many things. It's not same as being, bringing an attention seeking motion inside the assembly. I think we will have to, we the disabled people will have to graduate ourselves. My dear friends, if the Anglo-Indian community according to article 331 and 333, if they are not, if they are able to get a seat in the assembly and the parliament, Without contesting election, without coming to the people, the sons of the soil, even according to our own, you know, underestimates of disabled people, we are even then it is too close to 20 lakhs people. We don't even have a single voice in the assembly and parliament. And that's why I wanted to quote the Martin Luther Kings. We have a promissory note. In fact, at least there we had an America had a promissory note in this constitution. People with disabilities don't even have a mention. We only have a small mention in the directive principles of state policy, which is not enforceable by the court. We have 20 to 25,000 contempt of court cases lying down there. Where will we imbibe? We look upon to the judiciary. It turns out to be a, a statement, a day of a despair. What can really engage us? We signed the UN Child Rights Convention. We, child, we signed both the UN Convention on, uh, 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 on Women Rights, Elimination of UN uh, CEDA, Convention on Elimination of Discrimination Against Women. We signed the main protocol, we signed the optional protocol. We brought in, after Justice Verma Commission, we brought in a criminal procedure code change. But what has real, really reacted? What has really come out? What is the result? We are not able to even bring 33% reservation for the women. So we say something, we bring something and we only put those laws and the statutes in the, the shelves. Law in book and law in reality is different. It's only the political force which can gear, persuade, persist upon the issue and bring some changes. My dear friends, will you be, you will be quite interested to understand that a trust is a legal person in this country. A society is a legal person in the country. I am a legal person, you are a legal person. My dear friends, persons with psychosocial disabilities, persons with autism, persons with mental retardation, persons with multiple disabilities, they are not even a legal person in front of the law. We have signed the UNCRPD in 2011, sorry, in 2007. We are only able to give a limited guardianship and limited legal capacity. What is legal capacity? My dear friends, legal capacity means a capacity to go in front of the law or go in front of the court and file a case. I can inherit property, but I can't manage. This country's, this country's law is so discriminative that we don't even have our voice. 
Three percentage reservation. We had to fight for 18, 19 years in the Supreme Court. Court after court. You all might think three percentage reservation is for 100. No. There, is the, there, there lies the twist. Three percentage reservation is only, or five, four percentage reservation, which is now according to the RPD Act, is only for the identified positions, my, my friends. What is identified position? If you have 100 positions or 100 vacancies or 100 jobs identified in a, in a, in a company, if only a person with disability is able to perform only 20 types of jobs, out of the vacancies arising out of the 20 per, performable jobs, out of the cumulative we have 3 percentage. Where will I get that? The country's law wants every corporate to have an equal opportunity policy. Saying that you won't discriminate a disabled person in front of others. My dear friends, even after educating myself in a, abroad in King's Flower College, London. I had appeared for 13 consecutive interviews in all the corporate giants of Chennai. Unfortunately. And they want a person who is well qualified but not a person with disability. And they are happy. They will come for all the job fairs. They are ready to only take a disabled person only for a, a BPO job. Not in a decision making level. Do you think I am not performable? Do you think I can't work out? Despite the fact I have proved myself in umpty number of occasions. And I have to tell you my dear friends. It is not the politicians who take away. Let me put you one small information. The unnoticed angle. If at all you have to go for a corporate social responsibility issue. Can I even if I have 50 lakh rupees. Will I be able to buy a car which is completely designed for a disabled person? A retrofitted? If I am ready to even buy hot, hot, hot cash, if I have to buy a BMW or a Benz, I do not get it. I will have to buy the car and get it retrofitted elsewhere. Because the Motor Vehicles Act does not permit that. Socially responsible business means a company which produces a car should also produce for persons with disabilities. The executive of the, of the, of the, when I appeared before the parliamentary committee on motor vehicles act, the gentleman, the executive over there was so unethically said, that's not possible. He was speaking for the corporate. He was not speaking for the welfare state. I wanted every corporate to manufacture cars which are drivable by disabled people. You know what is the CSR? They will call people with disabilities and just possi possibly give them, give them some wheelchairs. The executive of the country, the IAS officers and the IPS officers who are in the decision making authority do not have an inclusive mind. That is my direct charge. Having coming from the field, my dear friends, it is when, when you say people with disabilities, who are people, people with disabilities? There are 3000 types of disabilities in this country or probably the world. This year we have lost 117 medical seats my dear friends for the fact that they decide that we will not be able to do medical course. 117 medical seats in our state alone. Because the medical council of India thinks that we or probably the person whom you are speaking to may not be able to do a medical course. But in America even a visually disabled person can do that. They use the technology. The executive people in the country, they think disabled people are diminishing minority. No. In 1960, the Singapore president, Lee Kuan Yee, the father of Singapore, he brought in the ambit of the disabled people, including the senior citizens with geriatric problem. Any inability accruing because of an impairment or a geriatric condition was also considered as person with disability. So the proportion of the population with disabilities went up. So do the allocation of funds. Now you have everything. It's a loss that the president of this country, the youth icon of this country who, un, who invented an FRO, a lightweight caliper, has not even reached a person with disability right now. Where are we standing? Are we only trying to do some lip service? Are people with disability do not deserve anything? When you buy a matchbox and pay 10 pies tax, so do I. I am also an equal citizen of this country. But unfortunately, things have not come our way. 
So where we need to go? Instead of cursing the darkness, why don't we lit the lamp? Let this stage be the starting force for including disabled people in political participation. We need to come inside the parliament. We need to come into the assembly. We need to raise up our issues. When, when a crawling disabled person crawls and on the bus stand, when there is pouring of water, heavy rain, when he crawls with his hands, it is the same hand we will have to use for his food. We have to understand. We have to get in front of law as equal citizens. We should have a legal capacity. It's not that India signs the United Nations Convention and gives all kinds of lies in the international arena. It is something that what India accepted in the international arena, it will have to come into force in this country. For that, we people with disabilities need a political participation. The political participation should not be tokenistic. It, has, it will have to be an effective participation and that will not come only from our voice. I think the, the mainstream society will have to join like how uh, Martin Luther King joined his hands and walked in 1961 for a famous delivery of talk. I have a dream. Yes, my dear friends, I have a dream where the disabled people are able to sit with other MLAs and MPs and voice out their uh, concerns. Thank you very much for this lovely opportunity. Thank you, my friends.